Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is the Jeff Gordon Chase Elliott crossover car, um, the 24 ever scheme that they ran uh, early 2016, I think, um, just to welcome Napa to the 24 car, I guess, I think was how it worked. Um, but it's got a, its own unique box, its own artwork, and some kind of unique stuff there. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the box. We've got the 24 ever, a bunch of rainbows and stripes, um, hashtag 24 ever, Napa there. Here you see our end of the car, we got the uh, Hendrick Motorsports on the hood with the rainbows, followed by the silver from Gordon's final scheme, and then the Napa on the rear end. And then we got Napa and Hendrick Motorsports on there, and it's a Jeff Gordon slash Chase Elliott, ha na number 24 Napa, hashtag 24 ever, one of 1933. And um, yeah, 24 ever over here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this car and show you what, what, uh, what we're looking at. So with this car, as I said, it's, it's a mixture of three different cars. So this car is a mixture of, on the front end, we've got Hendrick Motorsports, but originally it's basically, it's the DuPont 24 car. So this is where Jeff Gordon started. He had the red nose, um, and then DuPont, and then this, the rainbow. This middle section here where it's silver, this is Jeff Gordon's final ride. Um, we've got silver up onto the roof, the 24, the flames, you can see them there. Um, and then on the right side, it's the same thing. You got Gordon up there on the windshield, so that's the, the middle section there. Get to the rear end, you got Napa. So this is the Chase Elliott section of the car. Sun Energy One, Mountain Dew, Napa Auto Parts, Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline, um, Napa Know How, Rookie Stripes, you know, that's all Chase Elliott back here. So if you cut that off and you look at just from here, you're looking at a uh, you're looking at a Chase Elliott car. Or, yeah, Chase Elliott car. Then you look at it and you kind of cover these two sections up and just look at the middle. It's the final ride car. Then you just look at the front. It's the Bristol throwback car from 2015. So anyway, that's kind of how they uh, structured this car. Um, it's got Jeff Gordon's Sprint Cup sponsors um, here on the left side. On the contingencies, you've got Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew and Sun Energy One down here on his panel of the car. And then just basic contingencies up at the very, very front. Um, Gordon and Chevy on the, the window banner. Uh, roof flaps are Napa colors, but it is a yellow number 24. Uh, inside the rear, we have our fuel cell. There's no branding to that. Um, actually, let's take a look under the hood. I'm kind of curious because this is where normally you would see Exalta if they're honoring the paint scheme is accurate. Uh, yeah, under the paint, under the hood, we just have a Chevy logo and then plastic block of an engine there. So nothing super crazy. Uh, underneath, you can see we got working rear suspension and working front suspension, but this is all just plastic pieces, so not a lot of crazy good detail or anything. But um, it is a it's a unique car. It's a fantasy car, so I'm not a, I'm not a huge collector of fantasy cars just because they didn't run. Um, not a bad looking oh excuse me, not a bad looking paint scheme though. Um, but it's it's all right. It, it, but if anyone knows my Chase Elliott collection, it's all elite. Um, I have like. I think one or two, three, three total ARCs, and that is the K&N win, the uh, Snowball Derby win, and the 2017 truck win, and everything else is elite. Um, and then, of course, I think I have the two trucks, which are technically ARC as well, so I got a few, but I get everything that's in elite in elite, so this one won't be staying in my collection. Um, I might end up getting it. I might not. I'm not really sure because it's a Jeff Gordon car, really. Um, there's a little bit, and I have Chase, Chase's uh, 2016 Napa car signed, so I might just stick with that one, but... Um, anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, um, because that's the only way you're going to get the notification. They don't send it for just subscribing anymore for whatever reason. But um, anyway, this has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.